The earliest jawless fish of the Lower Cambrian did not have any bone in their bodies. Their skull and the only skeletal components of their bodies were composed of cartilage. By the end of the Cambrian, however, there are tiny bone fragments which are uh, visible in some fossil sediments. Uh, it seems as if bone uh, began as a protection around part of the body. By the Ordovician, some fish uh, possessed a bony head shield, and this would be the first elements of bone of the vertebrate skeleton. Jawless fish were the only fish in the ocean for tens of millions of years, and they diversified into a large number of forms. Most were quite sm small, only a couple of inches, although some could reach lengths up to two meters or six feet. Uh, the majority uh, seemed to have been uh, filter feeders, some in open water. Some, as they developed heavy head shields, probably were bottom uh, feeders and were rather slow. The earliest ones did not uh, possess any paired fins, and so steering while swimming would have been difficult, although later groups did develop these fins. Once the bony head shields evolved, uh, jawless fish evolved a great diversity of these shields, especially in one group known as the galeaspids. These fish probably did not possess paired uh, pectoral fins as far as fossils have indicated so far. Some of these uh, head shields were rounder and more domed, others flattened, some had a variety of pointed horn-like structures from the lateral sides, or long snout projections uh, projecting frontwards. Thelodonts were a group of small jawless fish, which, by bulges in their abdominal area, seemed to have developed stomachs. So as we consider the stages of evolution of the jawless fish, it seems that not only over the course of their history did they develop larger eyes and larger brains, a bone and then a bony uh, skull in the head region, but also stomachs seem to have predated the evolution of jaws in later fish.